What's going on everybody? Alex here, Nickens Lawn and Landscape. We're doing some cleanups today. We've got our setup switched up a little bit here, a little more permanent. Uh, we put it on the front of here, shooting it into the trailer. I'll show you a little bit more of that when we get to the property. But uh, this is what we're rolling with today. May pick up a little something along the way, but we got some BR700s. We got our Billy Goat blower. We got our aerator on there. We got to do one aeration while we're out and about. A little late for aeration, but uh, it's my mom's house. She's a little, uh, what do you call it? She's a procrastinator, so here we are, aerating after it has already snowed, but it'll be fine. We're not gonna see just aeration. So here we go, going to do some curbside pickups. All right, so we're getting ready to pull up to our first locations. That's plural, there are two houses right next to each other. They both got their leaves to the curb. All we've gotta do is vacuum them up and they're pretty small piles, so we should be able to knock this out pretty quickly. First uh, house is our first time using the vacuum Turn right onto Lake Forest Drive. since we have uh, put it on the tongue of the trailer like this, so we'll see how it works out, but I think we'll be fine, uh, but we will have to get it all set up here right when we get up. show you guys that we're moving on to our next stop we gotta pick some up real quick so if you guys have been following us for a while you know that we were in the market for a new mower we are no longer in that market we are getting ready to pull up to put our hands on our new machine
we'll do all the small ones probably with just backpack blowers like normal, but the big ones that shit takes so much different time. Oh yeah. And the worst part is, I mean, it can only hold so much before you've got to dump it, but right. you can go 10 miles an hour to go dump it versus, you know. We got a leaf vacuum. I mean, we're setting it up to where we can dump. do it like that. So we'll dump it, vacuum it right into the truck. So should be in good shape. And he just gave us a rundown on how everything works, so. Yep. You didn't get the hose off. And then there's two pins underneath here. On each side. You just bring it, get a guy on each side. It's kind of heavy. And that pin there slides out. Yep. And bam. Okay. The install kit and everything can stay on. Right. Just you can just off take the bagger off the things for other things. Yeah. And if you do that, take all the weights off the front. Right. You get some guys that keep those weights on because they are lazy. Mm -hmm. And all that extra weight hanging on the front when you don't need it. Not good on the pump. It's like using a, a compact tractor to cut grass with the loader on it all year long. Right. It just... No, so. Not necessary. Yep. Heck yeah, I'm excited. We're going to put it to, to work right away. Yep. So. Um, and of course, it, this is all the original stuff. Yep. Yeah, your discharge chute, uh, the original driver, stuff like that. So, yeah, I don't know if Seat, of course, for your operator weight. Mm -hmm. Just adjust it while you're off. That'll actually. Is that white number that they based off the of weight? Your weight. Yeah. Okay. So. forget about are these grease fittings on these back push arms make okay. sure that they're greased and when you grease them make sure you move the deck up and down full from all the way down to all the way up right. and then so that way again. it greases yeah. them all the way good right um yeah and i'll, I'll go through the manual make sure i get all that work. serial number location yeah. for insurance reasons Thank, Thank you. And yeah, like I said, just I'll shoot give me some you feedback yeah, or so. I, I would like to see just Definitely. how well. Right. Because I mean, we've always had leaves before, but leaves get compacted with as much snow, wet snow as what we did. Right. And, stuff and like got that. pushed down in there real good. So I know I got a mess at home. Yeah, we'll see. Well, we'll be going crazy the next yep. few days, so you'll see. All right. I'll give you a call and let you know. Yeah, appreciate Thank you. it. Thanks. No problem. Take one. care. <laughs> Woohoo, that thing's fat ass. Well, what do you guys think? I am super, super excited. You excited? 
This thing is gonna be awesome, guys. It's something we've been uh, in the works for a couple weeks about. Um, finally had the chance to pick it up. I think it was, it came in last week, but it snowed and all that good stuff, so we just didn't get a chance to pick it up. And we weren't doing any cleanups or any mowing, uh, obviously, but uh, had a chance today to pick it up. We're gonna be doing cleanups today and tomorrow. I don't know how much we'll get to use it in this video, but we'll definitely be using it a lot in the next video. Real quick, for those of you guys that don't know what that mower is, it's a 2018 Skag Tiger Cat 2. It's got the carbureted Kawasaki engine. We did not want the EFI carbureted. It's a lot easier to work on if need be, and there's less electrical parts. So for us, in my mind, that's more reliable. Um, then it's got the Skag clamshell bagger. It's got the one you can dump from the seat. We didn't want the bags. We wanted to be able to dump it from the seat and quickly keep on moving. All right, Nick, tell everybody the name of the new mower. Tony. Tony the Tiger. I like it. I don't know if anyone else has this name. I'm sure people with Skaggs do, but we're using it too. Tony. <laughs> So I got her in the shed, nice and clean, cleanest thing in here, to be honest, it's a mess. Swapping that engine, got that still sitting here, a lot of the parts from that sitting up there. Now I got this thing sitting in here, and this shiny new thing. I think it did an amazing job, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments, but it cleaned it up awesome. I had one guy message me on Instagram and say it was like a magic eraser and I'm gonna have to say I agree with you buddy. This thing is lights out. I can't wait to use it tomorrow. We're gonna be taking a bunch of footage. We got a lot of cleanups lined up. I think six or so full cleanups. Uh, so we'll get a good test on her. Got some thick stuff we're gonna have to try to suck up so we'll see what she's got. All right, so we got our cleanup done with the new mower. Worked beautifully as you saw, but Talking about carbureted engines with this, ironically enough, this thing was giving us fits. It did not work. Um, and this is a carbureted engine, so perfect example of why I like carbureted engines. So right here is your fuel line coming in from your tank. Goes there, goes through your fuel pump, and then it goes through your fuel filter right there, and then into your tank. This is just the EVAP. Uh, but I pulled this, so it's running goofy not really wanting to run right kind of seemed like a carb issue i pulled this off right here put it down in this tank right here and i cranked the engine when you do that this should be spewing out a good stream of fuel and if it's not there's something wrong back here but this should be consistent while you're turning the key or if it's a pull start every time you pull it it should spit out a good amount of fuel this one was just dripping it had a real small stream so that's not what you want to see so first thing you look at here is your fuel pump i swapped this out with another fuel pump i had over there and uh, same issue so i don't think it's that i'm um, going back here now to the fuel filter i'm going to put a new fuel filter on it and whenever i do that i'm going to blow this line 
on the back side of the fuel filter on the tank side of the fuel filter I'm gonna blow that with compressed air up into the tank so I'll hear uh, I'll crack this right here this gas cap up here and uh, I should hear that come through and I may even hear like a pop I may hear something come out of there or it may be restricted uh, but I'm assuming that's gonna be clear I don't know if it's my fuel filter or if I have something in the lines but I'm gonna start cleaning this up here and uh, just a perfect example of why I like carbureted engines. If that was an EFI engine, it could be something electrical, and I could go through all that, try to fix everything, and never find the source of it, and end up having to replace an electrical part, which is gonna cost money. Here, I'm gonna put a $5 fuel filter on it, which I keep a bunch of these over on the shelf anyway, so I've got one sitting here. Should take me 10, maybe 15 minutes, and hopefully I'll have this thing back up and running. It's a clogged filter. It runs perfect now, and all I did was blow out those lines and change the filter, so. All right guys, that's all we got for this one. It's cold, I'm going inside, eat my dinner, get rested up. Tomorrow, a bunch more cleanup. So if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see the future footage of this Skag mower and all the other cool stuff we do. All right guys, I'm out of here. I'll see you in the next one.